So because our light source is over here, I'm actually going to turn him towards that light source. Um, or would it be better for the camera if I turned him this way? It's probably easier for you to see on this side, isn't it? We'll do that because we still have our beautiful light here. And I don't want you guys to not see what I'm doing. Our windows can be fill light today. So I'm just pulling the cloth nappy, I mean the cloth nappy, the wrap. There we go. And now because we are going to turn him this way, this side here, I want to pull down like this. I'm not going to pull it out just yet because as I turn him, it's now going to come out the back. So just going to bring his little bottom around, making sure that the elbow stays in line with the body and the hand is up so that when I do turn him, his hand doesn't end up up here. And we're going to really struggle then to bring it down in line with the body. Bring his feet down. And now I've got his fingers, um, sorry, I've got my fingers on his elbows. So as I gently turn him, my little finger under here is going to push that wrap out the back. Hmm. I'll just leave that over him for a minute. Make him modest. And then bringing him towards the front of the bean bag, towards that beautiful light. Oh. There we go. And then the hips, so they're not facing up, we're going to sort of face them over, turn them over towards the bag. And I've got one hand at the back supporting him and one hand on his shins and his knees. So I'm just going to give him a little turn down that way and push his bottom towards the back of the bag. So we'll let him sink back off into that sleep. I'm going to try and make my blankets as smooth as possible before I take a shot so that I'm not having to do so much work in post-production to make them smooth. Oh, look, he's smiling. Oh, that is so cute. He's still doing it. I'm going to use another piece of fabric now to, to wrap over the top of him. And I've got lots of different textures in here and, and beautiful colour tones. And he's just got so, the most beautiful skin. So I want to um, put a beautiful colour on in here. I bought too many things with me. So my mum has been busy knitting. <laughs> she does some beautiful things. And she's been using um, some of the monkey moo moo patterns which are now available. I used to buy a lot of my props from her, but now she's actually making patterns and selling them and no longer knitting. So yeah, she's having a great time creating all these wonderful bits and pieces. So we're going to use this and these colours are going to go really well together. So I'm just using my hand over the top of the thigh there so he doesn't kind of flinch. With the side pose, I like to have the feet tucked up towards the bottom as much as I can. And this is going to come over the top and it's going to just, oh, hi. He's just having a stretch. He's posing himself. <laughs> I 
I'm not actually going to have any of this coming out as a detail. I'm going to tuck it in really tight because it's not very long, so I don't want it to look too silly. When it's you know, you've got a little bit of length, you can actually drape it and it looks beautiful, but we're going to tuck it in. from the back of the bag you can see a little bulge there and when the light hits that it's going to cause a shadow so we want our blankets to be nice and smooth so we've got his feet pretty much where we want them to be we will perfect them in a minute but I'm just going to pop that cloth nappy in underneath there just to give a little bit of resistance there so you can sort of feel some form of support there. I'm just going to use the weight of my arm just on his body. It's not heavy, it's not hard, it's just so that he feels secure whilst I'm moving him. So with this side, what I'm going to do is in a second I'm going to lift here from the side of his head and I'm going to push with my finger down on the bag to bring that tassel down. So I'm not actually lifting his head this way, I'm kind of turning his nose up towards the ceiling so I'm not overextending his neck or anything like that. Because if you stand there or you lay down and you try to go like that, it's, it's, it's not that easy, but you can turn easily. So it's the same with babies, we've got to remember that they, they're the same as us, they're just a ridiculously small version. <laughs> So making them comfortable the whole time. So just my thought. Oh, he's going to do it for me again. <sighs> Easy, baby. Now I want to bring this top hand. He's, when he's lifted his head earlier, he's put the top hand in over the top of the bottom hand but we want this bottom hand in underneath because if I was to take a photo now, it would become quite blurry and you would see that in the image. I'm shooting wide open, I'm focusing on the eye, the hand is going to be in front of the face so it's going to appear bigger and it's going to be blurry. You can see where the arm underneath is now. It's in line with the body. If it was up like this, it would be the same as the hand. It would be, um, you know, a large sort of object in front of the face, being the elbow. So we don't want that any, anywhere near his, his little face. So it becomes all about the face and he's lifting. So I'm going to bring that up. So when you're working in your studio and you've got this down packed, you know, you wouldn't be going through all the steps and going slowly like I am. You'd move through these poses really quickly. And sometimes the trick is just knowing where to put your hands to keep them secure. You can take your hat off. I'm just waiting for him to just relax. He's had a stretch. And that's um, something else that we also need to remember is that when we lay down in bed or we lay down on the couch to watch TV or we sit somewhere, we get comfortable all the time. We do it without even noticing. We move until we're comfortable. That's, they do the same thing. They have their own comfy place and we've got to remember that, you know, not every baby will go into every pose comfortably. And as easy as a side pose is, sometimes baby don't, babies don't like laying on their side. And that's the beauty of having the flow posing. And if you've got a little one that's not quite happy in one position, you can transition over into the next.
and when you're using bows or anything like that, if they're too big, they're going to become distracting. You do not want anything in your images competing um, with the little one's face. So what I'm going to do is to stand above here and I'm going to take the weight of his head off his hands and slide the other hand in underneath. So I've put my finger through the palm here. Bring those little fingers out and push the thumb through just like that. And then when he relaxes that elbow, just giving it a little gentle rock. Now when I lift up, he'll probably move with me. You can slide that thumb in over the top of the other wrist. And I'm just waiting in for him to relax those fingers. There we go. So we've got those hands in place. There we go. I'm just tucking that hat in so it doesn't look too big. Okay, now we can start to move our cloth nappies to get everything in the right place. So I'm just pushing it down underneath his little knee there. So we don't have like a big deep sort of well here and then it kind of just comes up at the end of his feet. We want it to be a nice smooth round well. And when I shoot this image from over here, you know, I want his little feet to kind of drift off into the background. So now I'm going to use one of my nappies just to give his little head a little bit of a lift and then that's going to put everything, um, keep his sort of, his, his chin and shoulder together to keep that hat in place as well. So I'm sliding one hand underneath it's there under the bag and what I'm going to do from there is lift his head, take his weight off the bean bag and slide the, the cloth nappy in underneath his head. And it's moving that cloth nappy so you can see it. I've kind of just bunched it up underneath there. I'm moving it around so you can to, to sort of push them into that position. If he was really stirring at the moment, I'd get a safe shot. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more tucking here. So I want these images to be beautiful for mum. bit more height here underneath the face, underneath those hands, just to lift it up off the bag. You can see just by pushing there, I've just turned his little nose up towards the ceiling, which is where we want it to be. Okay, we might get our first shot. Even though that's, I'm really happy with where this is at, I would still like to get some flat fingers in there. Oops. So when I'm shooting anything, um, I'm using my 24 to 70 lens, I want to be at that 70 mil focal length.
idea. So we've got a quick shot. He's just had a little bit of a wriggle, so we're going to fix his hands and then we should be right to take our image. So when I come in to fix hands, I'm placing my hand over the whole body there. I've got this part of my hand on top of the knee, I've got my fingers on his body, and I've got my other two fingers on that top hand. So they're not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna keep them where I need them to be. And we're just gonna lift up gently here. I just want to bring some of these fingers out under here. There we go. So what I did was I used this part of my hand to just push his head up nice and flat so I'm, it's not pointing or anything like that. And then I scoop the fingers out. And then we don't want it covering his cheek here. So we want to bring that cheek forward so it looks nice and full. So just pushing that hand a little bit further up and underneath his, his cheek. And then we've got beautiful straight fingers. Let's tuck that hat in a little bit more. You know, it's funny, whenever we have sort of different little props and things like that, not all of them are going to fit every baby. So we can tuck them in wherever we need them to be. And they don't need to look perfect at the back, they need to look perfect at the front. So he is absolutely adorable.